Hey guys, Legendary Grimlock here, and today we're going to continue with the Total Drama Survivor Series. Only one more episode after this, and well, they get their freedom. Or they go ahead and kill Chris and then get their freedom. Now, originally I was planning to do them in Path of Titans, but then I realized, like, nah, it's, it's not too fair in all honesty. Even if I gave them the same measurements as, or same, you know, parameters as, um... The new Blar 6, it just wouldn't be, like, fair in all honesty. Because, again, it's just probably only two, maybe three people dying in that one. And, again, it's, I don't know, it's just not entertaining to me. So, we're going to put them in Los Angeles from Dead Island 2. But, we're going to give them the Quiet Place monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep in mind that they all get their experience from the previous encounters they had. So, from the Morween all the way up until now. They have those past experiences, and they know that they die permanently. Plus, the voting mechanic will pop in when they least expect it. Rather than having them start off in the open where they have to run to a location, because in all honesty, they would get slaughtered right then and there, I'm going to have them start at Emma John's house. We're going to start them at Emma's house here. Gate fully closed. They have food. They have drinkable water. And they have to actually go out and get the weapons from Curtis's house. However, they're just going to go with their usual, you know, combinations here with the uh, with um, Duncan taking charge and stuff like that. And then Bridget again is able to get a schematic look at the Death Angels here. Basically studying them, learning that they're very sensitive to sound or they're highly reactive to sound and stuff like that. And this is where I would have Heather and Gwen go on to go to Curtis's house. I think those two would actually be able to work together. And this is because they actually know that the situation is pretty dire. Meanwhile, Lindsay would actually be helping Harold test out the Death Angels. You might say this is stupid. You might say this is dumb. But again, it is within their character to possibly even test out these creatures now, realizing that they've been in these situations for far too long just to not do it. Now, at Curse's house here, they do have a good chance of attracting the Death Angels here. And I actually think they, they honestly would here. But there are a few ways they can get around this. Number one is, well, um, Curtis's parking lot. Yeah, I do think they would actually use the cars to make noise, and I actually see Gwen being the one to go into the house, get the weapons and stuff like that, but I actually see Heather going to the parking lot and likely just turning on the cars, maybe smashing a window, and or smashing two or three windows of the different cars that are there, and then having the Death Angels just run almost at death stalk as i ain't gonna lie having the death angels just come along and you know kind of just wreck the cars themselves here and keep in mind it does take them a while to wreck something that has a lot of noise and stuff here as when people were making noises they were just going berserk attacking them left and right and stuff so <laughs> so um yeah they're definitely going to be able to do all that but even if we have to say well curtis's house needs power yeah okay that's that's fine the plan would still work just a extra step to it right so they would definitely be able to use the dev stalker sound to their advantage here and once they realize that this works then um they would probably relay this information and this is where i would also have them go into curse's safe and they find one of the first few benefits yes i'm giving them benefits now to this challenge here and I actually think they would definitely probably rush back to the group, but with, I guess you could say, a little bit more caution. Maybe smashing another car window on the way back there or causing some kind of ruckus that attracts the Death Stalkers to the area. Because I do think the Death Stalkers would have been able to break the car and stuff. So after returning, they would have all relayed their information to each other at this time. And in all honesty, I think it would actually be more good news than bad news. And at this time here, I could actually see Duncan having um, Courtney, DJ, and I think that's just about it here, right? Yeah, just Courtney and DJ actually being the ones to kind of search the house and stuff, maybe to divvy up the ammo. And I actually think Harold would actually be the MVP in this one, developing a sonic grenade. Yeah, you know, like the ones from Dead Island 2 that actually dispersed a sound that's capable of 
rivaling the screamers and stuff like that yeah they would definitely be able to um deploy that for multiple reasons there and keep in mind the sonic pulse grenade i should have said that earlier not the sonic grenade itself yeah the sonic pulse grenade here is actually a very devastating weapon like that's a whole lot of sound being compressed into one attack here and this is where i would actually reveal that courtney and sorry not courtney heather and gwen actually found the map to the thanator now why would i actually use the thanator number one it gives them a creature that they haven't experienced before meaning they don't have any advantage of knowing what creature they use now originally i thought about having the maureen but in all honesty it just seemed a little too easy for them to actually be able to get to know the creature and then for them to be able to use it now yes the group would be cautious about this but i do think they would have actually been able to put Put it aside here or at least you know see the benefit in having the creature than the downside and yes i do believe a thanator could definitely kill a death angel in a fight maybe mid difficulty but yeah definitely would be able to it's a lot more adaptable as well now this is where i would have the next morning chris pops on the screen or whatever that's in there and they have to vote somebody out and in all honesty i think the only option here really is Lindsay. now again i do think Lindsay would definitely be able to buy them some time and distract the death angels but at the end i don't think she would have too much left here it would only just be a matter of time before the death angels apparently just get to her and this is where i actually see them making their way through the brentwood sewers now you might say oh would you see anybody dying here in all honesty um no, not really. The Brentwood sewers are way too vast, and definitely the Death Angels cannot hear through water for some reason. Like, it's very interesting. Like, you could be in water or in, like, any form of water here, and they just wouldn't be able to hear you. They might not even go in the water because, again, they know they can't swim. Now, again, foot high or at least waist deep water is something different here, but they would definitely be possibly be even paranoid here however i do think they would be able to find somewhere around it maybe crawling on the ceilings and stuff like that and they would definitely have to avoid the death angels like that basically via you know going through the water not slashing and splashing around a bit and stuff like that but they would definitely make their way to the ends of the brentwood sewer or the brentwood subway and stuff like that where they find in one of the train carts the thanator basically just sleeping now, this is where their next challenge comes, and they actually have to convince the Thanator to not only let them release it, but actually to help them. Yeah, the Thanator is going to be a permanent creature for them, and it's going to stick with them until the next one, all right? And I think you guys would definitely love the next one here, because I actually found a way to make this work. Now, the Thanator would definitely take some convincing, but I do think Bridget is the right one to actually do this here because she is a, I guess she is an animal expert, and after studying the Thanator's biology for a little bit, she would begin to communicate with it, or at least trying to convince it in, its, in her own way. And this is where I would definitely have a Death Angel show up, and this would actually be one of the first few Death Angels that they actually killed. Keep in mind, again, they're actually relying on the Death Angels hearing to give them an opening. And I actually think once they, they, excuse me, once they cause enough noise and then the Death Angel comes in and then they stop, the Death Angel is going to open its ear and I think they would get a shot off. However, when the second one comes along, I do think it is going to run for DJ because it probably could hear the sound and stuff like that. And then this is where I would have the Thanator leap out and attack the Death Angel, killing it almost instantly. Yes, it has to bite force and pressure in order to get to it. It's actually made to be stronger than a T-Rex and a Xenomorph Queen. So, uh, yeah, it definitely would eat it here. Now, this is where I definitely see the group making their way towards the Venice Beach area. Now, this is one of the few areas after the, you know, Brentwood sewer and the subway area. It's kind of like in between. But again, it's it's an area I could see them making it to. And this is where I would definitely say they spend the night at the Blue Crab here. The reason why I'm picking the Blue Crab is, well, number one, they have the, you know, they have the shelter. And they have the food needed to basically get there. However, I still think they would go out to stores to see if they can get any supplies that's pretty much needed or go to the police station. And this is where I would actually have an encounter with Courtney 
and a death angel here. I definitely think Courtney would encounter it at the police station. And I think it would be very interesting to see how she would get out of it. I do think she could, but I think the whole encounter itself would definitely be a interesting thing. Now, this is where I also see the group possibly just making their way to the military base instead. Now, the military base is located on the beach here, and this does permit that. Ah, present them with a wonderful opportunity more weapons um escape boats and stuff like that they'd have everything they need and then some here however i don't really see the group leaving just yet here i do think they would probably use the military base to spend the night there are tents there are bunkers and stuff they can use to contain themselves noise proof and stuff like that so none of the infection sorry not the infected none of the death angels can get them and stuff and i actually think they would use those bunks to kind of talk about you know how they've been here how they've gotten so far and now if they can actually do this they have just one more place to go after this and in all honesty it's possibly one of the saddest moments they would probably have together because again this may be their last chance to all make it out and they actually might feel the death angels were difficult until they actually got the thanator now the next morning i would definitely have them go to one of the escape boats and stuff but i definitely could see chris sounding an alarm here this is again not to only make it difficult but to actually draw in the other thanators now not the other thanators the other death angels excuse me now this is where i actually see the group taking to the water on well i wouldn't say on purpose but i more say it'd be an accident and then this is where they discover a weakness in the death angels and that's the fact that they can't swim now, I do think the Death Angels are capable of knowing the difference between open water and just, you know, um, you know, waist deep water. And now going into open water, they're kind of in the Thanator's territory to which the Thanator is actually made to swim. It just didn't jump down because it was a cut scene for it. But again, with the Death Angels... Possibly, again, I do see another Death Angel being snatched up by the Thanator and getting killed here. Because, again, I don't really see the Thanator wasting that opportunity to kill one of its ops. So, it is what it is here. Now, utilizing the Thanador's powerful legs and its capability to swim, I think the entire group could definitely fit on it. It's a lot bigger than a lot of the other creatures they've ever encountered. Possibly even close to the height of the Morwing, except longer. And I definitely could see them using the Thanator and its great stamina and stuff like that to swim to the pier. This is where I actually see the group agreeing on activating the carnival itself here. Now, the reason why I'd say they would do this is because this gives them a way bigger advantage. And they would possibly attach something to the top of it to draw in every death angel they can here. Now, the reason why I say they do this is because it makes it easier for them to double back. Yeah, now you might say doubling back is usually one of the things that gets them killed in this series, but this is actually a perfect time to do so. The Ferris wheel has a whole lot of noise and ruckus that can be caused here. Whether it's blowing off the Ferris wheel and letting it crash, drawing in every death angel from a mile around, to possibly emulating the Thanator's roar and then having it on such a high frequency that it draws every um death angel towards the ferris wheel area causing them to just go berserk and just wreak havoc here yeah i do see the group actually being able to do this here and doubling back and making their way off this area via the boats so yeah this group actually survives here and i actually say they survive this honestly gets this actually gets them a 90 percent in all honesty the Thanator is a very big step in the right direction here, but if they didn't have a Thanator, I could at least see two more dying here. I'd probably say Heather is the next to go off of a unfortunate circumstance that she's just put in, and then maybe Courtney would go. I'm just saying maybe because, again, counting you know deaths and stuff like that is a very tricky thing, especially when these survival scenarios come out here. But that's going to be all today, you guys. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe, and share it with your friends. And I'll see you guys for the last survival video for Total Drama. Peace.